Hey, what's going on? Chris again. Got something different for you today. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Here we go. So what I've got is something I've been waiting to unbox for maybe a month now. Just hadn't found a good opportunity. I've been wanting to upgrade my camera setup. Right now I'm filming on the GoPro Hero 7 Black and I've got my secondary iPhone 11. And what I've been wanting to do and what I have been doing is using this Fox Flight Sport to capture footage on my iPhone 11. And what I've got is just like a J mount. And it's okay, it gets footage, but I've been wanting something better. Went ahead and bought the full face that I've been wanting, not only for better footage, a better way to mount the camera with a better camera, but to give me some extra protection on the trail that only a full face gives you. So this box has literally like been in the floor of the bedroom for at least a month, but we're about to get into it today. All right, so you can see the, the Fox branded. It's kind of ghosted in there. Black on black, pro frames. I got it on sale. I believe I paid 187. And typically they go for about 249. This has got MIPS protection. MIPS helmets recommended. Get a look at the top of it. Go ahead and get it out of the bag. So it's got a travel case. Nice branding on there. It does come with additional pads. They are different sizes, depending on how wide or narrow certain parts of your head, face are. They get chin pads, pads go on the top for your head. The buckle on this is actually magnetic. And how it works, the two halves actually slide together and are held in place by a magnet. And this comes in handy when you're wearing gloves. You need to take your helmet off for a break because it's hot. Don't have to take your gloves off. And some helmets out there have a removable chin guard. This is all one piece. And you can see inside, this is the MIPS technology. So this inner part of the helmet moves separately from the outside. The same way your brain would move separately from your skull, this kind of does the same thing. All right, so let's try this thing on. Yeah, that 
It's really tight. I think I need a thinner pad. So it's actually got three different size cheek pads. They look like they just kind of pop into place. Hey, we got some little plastic tabs, little plastic, almost like a rivet. So they had the thickest pad in place. And this is the thinnest one. All right, let's try this again. I really hope it fits this time. Yes, much better, much better. Another reason I chose this helmet, the way the front of this chin is made, it's got a large opening there. And this is good to run zip ties through. A lot of these have mesh here that if you wanted to run a zip tie through this, you would have to cut the mesh. I'm trying to avoid altering this helmet in any way, but what I do want to do, this is a action camera, J-hook mount. It's made to go on handlebars, but I just want to zip tie this to the front of my helmet through the holes where the bolts were. And that's going to give me a much more immersive, get the camera lower to the ground and capture more of the handlebars. Here's all three helmets in a row. You got the flux, pro frame, the flight. If you like this video and like to see more similar to this, give it a big thumbs up. And the most important thing is to share it with your friends. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the trail.